I have had several people ask me to do a video, a follow-up video on the pasture uh, renovation where I went in here and beneath all the trees I put wood chips out in my pasture. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about that. The main thing I can see, uh, I mean I can definitely tell the difference in the grass, uh, volume of grass, thickness of grass. This is typically, uh, most of that is coastal Bermuda, which spreads by runners, not uh, not by seed. And uh, it's just gotten a lot thicker. Um, what I did, uh, if in case you don't know, and I'll maybe include a little video clip of it right here. The only bad thing I see about, the, uh, about doing the uh, wood chips, and I'm not even sure that this is um, really a problem, is all the cedar trees, the little cedar junipers, western red cedar, I think they call them, or eastern red cedar. I've got a bunch of those that have sprung up. I, my, my, place, my place had a lot of cedar on it, but I'm really seeing a lot now. So that's the only thing, bad thing I can see is that the, the mulch, the mulch that I used had some cedar in it, I know, and it could very well be that the cedar berries uh, that the juniper produces, the uh, eastern red cedar, produces, um, started, to, uh, they germinated. That could very well be, because it was a couple of years ago when I did that, I think. I'll look back and see for sure. But um, I've got all these little cedars. So that's that might be a, a, a bad thing, uh, but if it is, the only bad thing. Let me tell you about the good stuff. So for me, the good news is, yes, the grass is better, uh, but my trees, um, I was losing countless, no, not countless, <laughs> I was losing a lot of big oak trees to what's called uh, oak canker. It's a, they've got a scientific word for it. I'll put it right down there on the bottom. But it's a canker, it's kind of a cancer, it's contagious. Um, and when these, uh, when 2011 hit, we had, uh, gosh, record, record drought, record temperatures. We had 82 days of temperatures at or above 100 degrees, 82 straight days, if I remember right. So it was just a dust bowl situation almost. Could have been a couple, two or three years of that, and it would be dust bowl. Uh, before that, though. I was losing a lot of oak trees. And uh, probably in the previous five years, I've lost six or, or eight uh, huge trees. I mean, we're talking um, some of them uh, 40 inches in diameter, some of them 24, 30 inches in diameter. I mean, some big, big oak trees. Uh, I've got vid videos of of the uh, when the mulcher was here him pushing down some that had been dead for years been dead two or three years <laughs> but i haven't lost any trees since i spread the mulch um and i believe a neighbor that's the my neighbor that i get my wood chips from that has the tree service says that he did the same thing spread them out and he has not lost any trees so you see that tree right there the top fell out of it about two or three years ago and I ex fully expected it to die. Uh, it is hollow inside. The top section was definitely hollow and I uh, you know I expected it never expected it to, to leaf back out but I mean it has just look at those look at those limbs on both sides just gone crazy and again that was a couple at least two years ago maybe longer. I feel like if you've got a tree problem especially if you're in the southwest and you're you're losing trees uh, to um, uh, to this canker, to this oak canker. Um, I believe that might be the cure for it: is to mulch heavily with wood chips around your trees, uh, the the baseline, the the uh, drip line of the tree. So that's what I've seen. Um, I've seen a, a good growth of grass and it's time for me to start uh, if I can get some more wood chips I'm gonna start uh, spreading around these trees again um, and but anyway I, I think that's been a, a definite uh, 
you know, maybe you were you were more, the ones that have requested this or wanting to more more to hear about grass. Uh, I know it's it's helped my grass. Yes, I, did I pick up some of these cedar trees out of the chips? Very likely. I, that's the only. Again, I've had cedar all over the place, but I, I feel like since these have really come up. Uh, prolifically in the places that I've spread the chips I feel like that uh, maybe some of the juniper berries the berries that are on the cedar chips and that were in the cedar chips um, germinated anyway so is it worth it if you can get your hands on some chips you dad gum right I would do it I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna take those chips I mean those uh, yeah those two piles of chips over there and uh, the one that's composted I'm going to use on useful compost but the two new uh two new piles i'm going to uh i'm gonna spread them out here spread them under trees that i want to keep i have got some marvelous oak trees i hope you can see all these huge oak trees i mean it's just my place is covered with them and i was losing them at a at an alarming rate i really thought i was gonna i really thought i was gonna lose a lot of trees I mean, big, nice, probably 200-year-old trees, 150, 200, 250-year-old trees. I don't know how long it takes for a tree to get to three feet in diameter, but um, but I'm not losing. I haven't lost a stinking one that I know of in the places that I have spread chips. Back on the back of my place, I believe I did lose a couple of trees, but I did not spread wood chips back there. All my wood chips were on the front of my place up here by the road. And so I didn't, uh, where I didn't spread, spread chips, yes, I have lost some more oak trees. Where I did spread the wood chips, even the one that I thought was going to die, didn't die. So I like it. Uh, I'm going to do it again. I suggest you do it again. So I think it's a success. I think pasture renovation was a success, a clear success. My grass is thick. The sheep kind of keep it down, and we've had cows in here and sheep, so they're keeping it down somewhat, but uh, I like it. I'll do it some more. I suggest you do it if you can find you some wood chips. Call the tree services in your area. Tell them you've got a free place for them to dump chips because they probably, <clears throat> they're probably getting charged to dump their wood chips. And uh, I don't know, wood chips are getting kind of popular now, so maybe not. Maybe there are maybe they're several people vying for the wood chips, <clears throat> but... Um, Hey, tell them you give them $10 a load, you'll pay for the gas to come out to your place. $20 a load, whatever. Um, anyway, uh, is it worth it? Yes. Long story short, or short story long, I guess. I, I think it did well for me on my grass. I, I attribute my trees being alive to it. I don't know of any other reason not to have lost some of these trees, especially the ones that looked like it was half dead anyway. Um, so I definitely, uh, definitely recommend it. Pasture renovation, back to Eden style, success.